This is Twit. Um, a you know prolific leaker of leaks, uh, Ice Universe on Twitter tweeted last week uh, some shocking news, probably to flow given this is a, a wearable update. Samsung is going to opt for Android on its what? next smartwatches. What? Dun dun dun. Um, and the leak doesn't really specify if it's going to be Wear OS or Android with a more wearable skinned UI. Um, and this is important because Samsung hasn't had an Android based smartwatch since uh, it was the Gear Live in 2014. Uh, and that's back when uh, the OS was called Android Wear. Um, but Samsung and Google have been, they've been commingling lately, uh, considering that the, uh, the S21 is going to have Android messages instead of Samsung's SMS app, for example. So this could be another sign of Google and Samsung playing nice, nice. Um, hmm. But. <laughs> Tizen, you know, like we were going to, we were going to rename the show all about Tizen once. Uh, that's how, you know, it looked like the future was big for Tizen. Um, you know, uh, you know, if you get rid of the watches, what else is running on Tizen? I know my TV out in the living room, the, the Samsung frame I have is running Tizen, but what else is running Tizen? Uh, Michelle, what do you think? What do you think the future looks like for Tizen, uh, given this <laughs> announcement <laughs> or leak? It's not even an announcement, just for speculation. <laughs> Well, Tizen has always been like Samsung's way of, you know, pressuring other companies into saying, you know, if you can't do your job very well, we're just going to have our own OS for the products where you're deficient. So that's been the case for smartwatches for years. And for TVs, Samsung still uses their own um, OS. So it's interesting right. to see that they might they're considering using Android for their next OS. It's possible. I mean, we don't know exactly why they're doing it. Maybe the cost of development of Tizen OS for smartwatches is just not worth it anymore and they want to use Android but continue to use their own Exynos hardware for their smartwatches. Um, because usually the smart the problem with Android or Wear OS smartwatches is the combination of you know Google not caring enough about Wear OS plus the lackluster chipsets from Qualcomm that have been powering it. I mean that that gap is closed somewhat with the Snapdragon Wear 4100 and the latest versions of Wear OS. But maybe Samsung is seeing an opportunity now that Wear OS is has matured enough um, so that they can pair their excellent Exynos Wear chips with Android to make their next generation smartwatches. But we don't know for sure if that's the way they're going. But then, but so it, what it, about it, those of us? I'm sorry. Sorry. It, Go flow. <laughs> You've got the floor. Ask, what about those of us who have like invested in this ecosystem? That's I'm sort of thinking about like the thirteen dollars I've spent on watch faces. I don't want that to, you know, I don't want that to be wasted. That thirteen dollars is dust in the wind, dude. <laughs> Listen, in this economy. No, but in all in all seriousness, like, are we looking at a landscape where Samsung is doing both watch OSs just to see what works? Like, they're doing one Wear OS to sort of like placate, you know, Google or whatever, hmm. or maybe just test it out. I mean. This this could be like the you know okay Google is trying to inject some life into Wear OS and what's the best way to do that then getting one of the biggest manufacturers to kind of recommit to using it and then hoping that it's like you know the other you know other developers and stuff like that will take notice because the critical mass will be there and it could be a uh, a renewed focus on the platform um, but that's if they use Wear OS they might just use Android and reskin it for yeah. um, for a wearable standpoint I mean this is all speculation at this point but who knows. Yeah. Maybe they took ties in as far as it can go, too. That's another thing. But they've, Ron, done, they've done good things Ron, with ties in on you, the smartwatch. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, but Ron just completely triggered my my Nest audio. And uh, wow. the Nest audio offered to help me uh, learn how to use Wear OS. Oh, lucky That's you, exciting. Flo. Fascinating. So, Are you it's not wearing headphones? Quiet. God, stop talking. <laughs> oh my God. Just, I'm sorry. I should have muted it. Are you just on full speakers? That's fascinating. Uh, did you hear that? No. No. Oh. Absolutely. No, we're Flo, just trying to your, figure out your, how it fired is, off your speaker. Is your house haunted? No, it's the, there's a Nest Audio behind me right here. Is there though? Is there? Ye yes. <laughs> yes, it's right there. See, it's right there. Um, and it was talking a lot, and I decided to interrupt the whole show and let everybody know about it. 
because Ron said okay, and then he did not take enough <laughs> pause between that and the G word. So maybe this is an editing mark. Nah, <laughs> it's, nah, it's keep fine. It in. It only happened to you, Flo. It didn't happen to anyone else listening, right? It only right? happened to me. 